Hey guys, so very often one of you viewers will suggest that I look into a product or I'll try something or try to do something different uh, and then I actually give it a try and this is one of those cases right here. One of the few viewers suggested that I look into these solar panels so today we're going to take a look at uh, those solar panels that uh, was recommended by you guys. Okay, these solar panels are made by Bouge RV, and if that looks familiar to you, I do have the, the a refrigerator by the same brand in my Sienna build. So let's take a look at it. So I actually have a two-pack, and it's two 100 watts, so it's a total of 200 watts. Let's take a look at it. All right. First off, I mean, you could tell how light it is. It's definitely lighter than my previous solar panels. And look at this. Look how thin that is. It's thin and light, and it's a flexible material so that uh, it can contour to your um, shape if you have a unique shape. Yeah, I mean, it can't contour completely, uh, but you see this material. It is a nice, durable material that's very different than the glass, you know, and again, it's very light. So let's take a look at this compared to my old glass. All right, so here's the traditional solar panel with the aluminum frame and the glass top. And you can see, you know, if, if a rock hits this, it, it will crack, you know, and it, it will uh, degrade the performance of the, the solar panel, if not break it. But, you know, it, it, it's bigger. Yeah, it's bulkier, it's heavier. So for basically the, the same wattage, the one that you just saw in my, my uh, Sienna is 110 watts. This is 100 watts. But you can see this is so much more compact and durable. So that's going to be really nice. Now, uh, the challenge is, you know, sometimes you want something rigid and sometimes you don't. Uh, so for the people that do want something rigid, uh, you know, this is not the panel for you. But if you want something that's a little bit more flexible or you have something really flat to put it on, I think this is a really good solution since it is a more durable material and it's lighter and easier to handle. So let's look at it. Okay, so here are the ports. Let's take a look at it. All right, so it uses these these cables. So this... these. These style cables, you, you're not going to get it the polarity wrong. It it's just won't even fit in any other way. So that, since you saw that I have two, so you could connect these two together, connect these two together and have a 200 watt panel. Okay. Let's take a look at some of the specs. Maximum power 100 watts, 17 volts max. Max current 5.85. All right, looks good. Operating temperatures up to 185 degrees. I'll, I will not be camping when it's 185 degrees. Let me tell you. But <laughs> um, the panel actually will get hotter because it's black, okay? It's, it'll be hotter than ambient temperature. Okay, so here's a comparison of the size of uh, my my old one with this new one. And this is, again, this is 110 and this is 100. You can see the, the difference in thickness. Wow. That's, and here's the, the problem. Uh, I was going to use these and make a nice new uh, deck lid, you know, cover for my rack having two of them one over here one over here but you guys know I'm going to be selling the Sienna real soon so I actually don't want to make this upgrade anymore because I'm going to be selling it so I'm just gonna leave it like this but I'm gonna use this for my next build um, let's take a look at it on the Maverick alright so you could see if you have a design like this as some kind of flat bed uh, of course, my, my trifold won't really be a trifold if, if I do mount this on. But if you have something similar, one of those non trifolds that's one big to no cover that goes up and down, this would be the perfect panel for that. Because look, 
it's just so it fits really flat it's flush you know and it's lightweight and that's the way it'll look and you could easily just put two no problem and it'll blend right in with your cover so I don't have that type of cover so I'm not gonna do that so here will be the future for the Pana it would on my new Honda element let's take a look at it so if I wanted to mount it like this you could see it'll contour to the shape of the um, the element and you would use um, some strong adhesives and just put it down and you can have solar panels that's really stealth nobody will see it have one here and one in the middle so that's what I'm planning to do right now I haven't decided yet because you know I haven't decided what I want to do on the top racks but that's a future things to think about all right so let's compare this uh, fiberglass panel to this uh, portable panel that I have so this is a different type of material. You can see it's some kind of plastic. I'm not sure the material, but this, this fiberglass, it's definitely more scratch resistant. This is quite scratch resistant too. But look at the size, you know, they're basically the same size for a 100 watt panel. Uh, there's probably no real difference in there, but you know, thickness. This has got some padding and stuff like that. So I'm sure it's probably about the same thickness. But the funny thing is, uh, I could probably use this as a portable panel too, uh, until I decide where I actually want to put it. It's actually not too bad as a portable panel because you can just slide it on top of something. Okay, so if you want to hook this up in parallel, you can, of course. And if you want to hook it up in series, you can. That's up to you how you want to hook it up, uh, whether it's in parallel or series. But if you do choose the series option, when you put two panels together, these cables make it very, very convenient for that because all you have to do is take the positive on one, hook it in to the negative of the other, and then you just use your two remaining ports just like you would a single panel, just like that. It's really easy, no extra adapters to get or anything like that.